So you always want to fast during an infection as much as possible. It's going to really help you. We're going to talk about why. Fasting is amazing. It delays aging. It can extend your lifespan. It does the same thing with insects and animals. And when we get sick, we tend to lose our appetite. The reason why is because fasting creates a profound effect on your immune system. There's all sorts of genetic survival mechanisms that occur when we stop eating. When you stop eating, your body starts to uh, burn your fat, you start making ketones. Ketones have anti-infective properties, so they can act as an antimicrobial to some degree. Also, when you fast, you increase the survival of your T cells and your B cells. Okay? Now, the T cells are the ones that run the immune system, kill microbes, help put the fire out, help reduce inflammation. B cells have to do with making antibodies, so you have a memory of the infection, so you can fight the infection off the next time that microbe comes around. Fasting increases the survival of both of these. But initially, when you fast, you get a drop in the white blood cells. The lymphocytes decrease in the blood. Now, where are they going? They're going into the bone marrow, and they're going into the gut, and they're recharging, and they're eating. Now, we get an increase in memory cells, which help destroy pathogens much faster. There's also a specific spike in the T helper cells. This is the cell that coordinates all the other immune actions. So it's like the general of the army. And it just so happens, as a side note, the AIDS virus goes after this right here. So it goes after the controller. It has some intelligence that it knows that if it takes this guy out, it takes the entire army out. Well, fasting will increase the T helper cells. You also get autophagy if you fast long enough. Autophagy is a special condition where your body starts to clean up old damaged white blood cells and things that are not needed and recycles them. Also, there's other things that autophagy can stimulate too, helping control viral infections, decreasing inflammation, and also um, presenting antigens. Now, what does that mean, presenting antigens? Well, certain T cells need to be guided. So they need certain pathogens that are tagged, like a little X on the virus's back saying, kill me, and this is what this is all about. But you can look at antigens as a little piece of a microbe. Like if you were to take, um, I don't know, if you had a, uh, I don't know, like maybe a dog that's trying to sniff out drugs, and you let the dog smell a certain drug, and he would actually go look for it, because now he has a scent of it, and he can find it. The same thing with your immune cells. This is like the scent, or a, or a piece, or a particle of that pathogen so it knows what to go after. And other cells do the dirty work by killing the pathogens. This is interesting. In a three-day fast, you can have profound effects over your immune system. You will trigger the stem cells that regenerate the immune cell. You may think it's gonna be very difficult, but as soon as you start fasting, it's gonna get easier and easier and easier. I would take your nutrients when you're fasting, but the point is you can greatly strengthen your immune system. There's two ways that this infection can affect you. One is directly from the pathogen itself, and two is from the collateral damage from your own immune system. Especially in like rheumatoid arthritis or even autoimmune diseases, the damage is not coming from the pathogen, even though the pathogen's involved. It's coming from your own immune system that's creating all this collateral damage. So when you fast, you dramatically reduce inflammation. I would also recommend during an infection to take vitamin D. I would also recommend taking oregano oil, which is great for bacterial infections, also in viral. Uh, garlic is uh, very powerful and definitely olive leaf extract for viral infections. So you take these in an empty stomach plus fasting. Now you have a really good program. And if you haven't taken my immune course yet, it's a free course, 21 lessons, I put a link down below. Definitely sign up today. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself.
It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.